I still believe that as a man, you should be able to command respect. So why do you think you're still so stunning? Because, girl, you are so stunning. But to start with, <laughs> you're successful. Girl, you I don't know why I'm single. I'm single because... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Merry Christmas. How are you celebrating? Merry Christmas. Please, if you're new to this space and you're here to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and also give this video a like if you like it at the end of it. Thank you. Okay, today's topic is on a 41 years old black woman giving reasons why she's single. According to her, she has tried dating. She's a divorcee. Yes, she was married for over nine years and she got divorced. So she has tried dating and to her, mm, it's not cutting it for her. The men she's meeting or oh, she just she just gave reasons why she she's still single. She's well established. Yeah, she's into the entertainment industry and all that. Before I get right into that her video, because I'm going to play the video, she had an interview and she spoke about it here, yeah? and this sparked a lot of conversation, which definitely I'm going to read people's comments and all that here. Yeah? But before I get right into that, I want us all to know this: if you have to leave comments in on YouTube, you have to avoid using some certain words. I have tons and tons of comments being held by YouTube. Even if I approve it, YouTube will not approve it because those comments have blocked words on youtube some words have been blocked so youtube has blocked those words even if i approve it like i said youtube wouldn't approve it i've approved some but youtube wouldn't approve it i have a lot and i know it takes a lot for you to leave long write-up you want to give your submission you want to air your views your opinion and all that and at the end of the day you don't see your comment it's not me please don't feel like i'm the one holding back your comment it's not me so moving forward if you want your comment to show in the comment section just avoid swear words some certain words i'm pretty sure we all know those words that the society don't want us to use because things are heavily censored so if you want to partake in the comment section just be, be mindful of the words you use like i said it's not my doing i have no power over that is youtube that is responsible you're the ones holding those comments okay that being said let's get right into the video i still believe that as a man you should be able to command respect so why do you think you're so stunning? Because girl, you are so stunning. But to start with, you're successful. Girl, you I don't know why I'm single. I'm single because I just want somebody that would just really love me. Just that's all. I'm not asking for too much. You don't see love. No, not like I, I think don't. You see plenty. No, no, no. Too. So you that's, that's why you're looking for a plenty. Babe, that's the thing. <laughs> so loving somebody and being, you know, the two different things. You can love someone, and but you're not ready to be a committed person. And, so and okay, my point is, is see, see, maybe this is why I'm still single. I can't be in a, in a toxic relationship if if you cannot give me that protective energy that allows me to respect you. I cannot be with a man that I don't respect. Mm. I cannot be with a man that I don't respect. That I, if you cannot earn my respect, then we cannot be together yeah. because what's the point? What's the point? When it gets to a point where cried. I start to disrespect you, mm -hmm. that means you have brought yourself down to a point where. I begin to talk back at you. I begin mm. to disrespect you. Mm. Even if you don't have, sometimes it's not even about having money. It's in about just how you're able to love and manage the situation, manage the people around you. Kindness. Kindness. I think that's what is missing. You know, I've already said this. If you have to marry, marry a good man. A good man solves all the problem. A good man answers it all. Honestly, that's just it. The missing piece you said is kindness. A good man is kind the answer to all this whole stuff is marry a good man a good person a good person wouldn't do a lot of things to you because you understand that that's that's that is not supposed to be done to a human you get what i mean i know when she said this people dragged her people said a lot but there are two comments that i found interesting and that's the reason i brought them and i'm going to read those comments those comments sparked a lot of other reactions. One comment is on, oh, she has masculine energy. That's why men are not coming to her. Maybe that's why she's not attracting the right men. The other comment was on she being too smart. Men don't like women that are too smart. Okay, here's the very first comment. The smarter you are, the more likely you are to be single. Guys, do you agree? So this person is of opinion that the smarter a woman gets, 
the more likely she is to get to be single and this one replied and said this is why i'm single a guy once told me that i'm too smart for men and men wouldn't want to be to be to wife me because i'm too smart in a nutshell a smart woman need to play dumb to be in a relationship i can't even count how many times i had to water down my personality just to fit in i was told that i was told i contest too much with which will make no man want to have me as a wife but why do we humans love unrealistic things i can't understand why i shouldn't think out of the box just to brush a man's ego so true women got to play dumb sometimes so the marriage can work it's crazy man this person is against that comment Spencer said being smart does not have anything to do with being single you can be smart and be married a lot of people are single because they want someone that can control abuse or someone who will love them fight for them and support them some are single because they're looking for who for who is perfect when it doesn't exist exist while some are single because they keep on listening to their friends who are who to be our uh, be with or who not to be with or your friends are the ones telling them who to be with and who not to be with flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you the smarter you are as a lady the more likely you drag rights with with your man wahala every day that means you'll be having issues every day with your man because you would not be agreeing with what your man is saying fact as you day wise you know who won't submit because in a relationship one person must bend so this one is saying that if your wife is diff it's going definitely difficult for you to submit in a relationship and in a relationship one person was must bend and the person that is expected to bend is the woman a woman is supposed to give up a lot of things for the relationship to work there's this particular interview you're listening to here yeah? this woman got married and stopped her acting career she was into acting she was into a lot of things so her husband was against her pursuing her her dreams her career and all that he said she should stay home and become a stay at home wife so it was her friend that was saying this when she had an interview so she then they asked the friend so what did the woman say she said and she had to accept because she didn't want trouble she wanted peace in the home and she's not happy with it she's really not happy with it. it's like she's in a bondage she can't really do anything if you ask her let's hang out she said let her ask her husband about it what kind of a marriage is that what kind of a marriage is that so the woman is the one that is supposed to bend at all time so if the woman refuses to bend the marriage will not work doesn't make sense society that is being built to by built by men to favor men let's keep reading let's talk about the, the other comment this person said that the reason why this lady is single that's the reason why the actress is single is because of her masculine energy this is what he said she said a whole lot of not, nothing. You are you are constantly in your masculine energy and you tend to disrespect men easily because of that. I sense some level of toxicity. He went on to say, since all women who have unresolved trauma, what about women who naturally dwells in her femininity? Damn, get three, them get three heads. So basically, if you're saying that um men are the ones that, that make you bring out the, the masculine energy what about other women that naturally dwells in their femininity everyone everyone has different experience in life everyone has different hustle in life to get different things they're facing in life it could be those women they are not being faced with men that are making them bring out their their, their masculine energy and she's, she's talking about unresolved trauma i know he's right with the unresolved trauma statement he made a lot of people have traumas they are dealing with and those traumas have given rise to the to people's current situation do you get or people have people are dwelling their masculine energy because of what happened in the past or how they were brought up and all that so people are lucky not to experience that so you cannot say because oh you cannot use that and say what what about other women that are constantly in their feminine energy so he went on to say here's the toxicity why do i have to bring out the other side of a woman when there are other women out there who already dwell naturally in their feminine energy there are j just signs of unresolved trauma it is the man's decision if he is ready to take on that or not soon said the man should bring out the feminine energy that is 
what a real man is supposed to do masculine energy because the man or men around obviously fail to bring out the other side of her you have to put her in that state where she can actually relax and let go because she knows you are in charge and you are fully capable and this one said i second this with you no man with no woman with masculine energy would be attracted to a man what do you guys think a woman can be rich but it's wise to still maintain the feminine energy which is her strength it's not about the money it's about your experience past experience affects the future if you get what i mean and i know fine it has to do with trauma and all that and the kind of people she's, she's att attracting to her but men are supposed to make women feel relaxed feel protected when someone feels calm protected and happy then you see them function in their respective energy so it's a man that is supposed to bring out your feminine energy as a man i have a lot to deal with already i'll not go and be dating a masculine woman for me to start working hard to bring out her feminine side and that's a proof of a real man you all be dreaming at times this is quite an interesting conversation i know for a woman to be happy in a relationship the man has a role to play if everyone takes on their role life will be easier for everyone if a man does what he's supposed to do as a man in a relationship a woman will do what she's supposed to do as a woman no one wants to do other uh, other people's job to get no one wants to take on other people's role except some people very few people but in real sense no one wants to take on other people's role so all these men capping rubbish because it's rubbish to me saying all them all them stuff oh she's in the masculine energy blah 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 did you take on your role how did she find herself in that space how did she find herself being in masculine energy i've said this before if a man does what he's supposed to do a woman would not be would not take on the masculine energy if you know what i mean she get why don't you focus on how did she get that not asking why is she in that energy do you understand if you're in a relationship and you're not being man enough you're not, you're not being responsible what then do you expect the lady to do to still be in her feminine energy and wait for you to to make her life easier she has to do what she has to do to make life easier for her so men should focus on the root cause and focus on how to resolve a problem rather than calling women out and doing the blame game because it's not helping anyone it's not even helping them it's making them it's putting them in a bad light you get men should be more responsible and do what they're supposed to be in a relationship until then we'll keep having this conversation i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye